Stuck Skateboard. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Stuck Skateboarding. I am Jesse Slamarella. Super Max And today we are back at the Iroquois Skate Park in Whitby. Our apologies for the e ride event in Toronto not happening and being uploaded. The event kind of got rained out for at least two to three hours of the beginning of the event, and Mike and I didn't really want to you know, fork out the money to get down there and then have the event canceled because, well, that would have sucked ass. So hopefully we can go to another e-ride event early on in September, make up for the one that we we're supposed to go on here. But today you get to see us do some hopefully new tricks here at the Iroquois Skate Park, once again in Whitby. Excellent place to skate, good vibes all around. And yeah, so what we're gonna do next is try to film Super Mike doing some shove -its. Let's see some progress on that, buddy. And I'm gonna be trying to do some, what are we gonna try to do? Hopefully some 180 flips, either fakie or regular, possibly backside, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what front side or backside is. But yeah, either way, you'll see me trying to do some of those. So let's take it to Super Mike Sanguine and see how he does on the show that's first. Not bad. Good first attempt. My apologies for the wind. <laughs> so much. There you go. That's some friggin' gusto. So he didn't record that part, but he gave me some advice, so I'm kind of doing a shove it. So I went from not enough power to way too much. <laughs> I'll find that happy match. So scoot back with the tail foot, which I was doing already, but also push forward with my, uh, my front foot. And properly, it should look a little something like that, except that's a lamp. it hell yeah both feet on all right so i'm gonna just start with some warm-ups so uh back sides and front sides and try to do a couple of kick flips and then we're gonna work on to, then we're gonna move on to the front side or back side kick flips whatever they end up being
die? Yeah, you know, just a couple of spiral wrist fractures, all good. That's a lot of weight to come down on those wrists, and I can pretty much tell exactly what I'm doing wrong every time. It's just preparing enough and setting up and then doing it. Just still at the beginner stages. No Chad Muskie yet. If you get a couple more ollies in first, get your legs prepped, grease them up. Man. That was interesting. Totally intentional. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was 360. <laughs> now, if you could just flip the board over at the very end of that, that'd be sick. Oh, see, that would have been cool. That would be a trick that I can't even do. Maybe that's your hidden gift, the freestyling. Hey, I got an upside, the right side up that time. Back to shove it, because that's starting to hurt. What? What's that called, a Casper stall? Yeah, well, yeah, it's a Casper when you like flip it over and catch it. But yeah, stalling it like that, I think, is a Casper stall. I'm getting one foot on. I'm just gonna get the other foot. Yeah, it feels like you need to like scoop it under you and not pop it up. But what do I know? I can't even do that trick. Not even balance. <laughs> there we go. Taking your advice and trying to scoop it under. There's actually a lot of tricks that involve like pressure flips or scooping with with the foot instead of like pops or whatever. Short of a jump. 
are you trying to shove it late flip? It's going big there. That was just screaming for a bag tag. Yeah, right there, bud. Get some angles. <laughs> uh, when in doubt, 
I'll fail like a bitch. When in doubt, pussy out. There you go. digits off the end of it at the bar. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that skate session, hope you enjoyed the couple of skate progressions that Mike and I did today. Mike's being the shove and the Casper stalls to uh, landing it, I don't know. <laughs> and then my couple of variations of the 180 flip, I just about landed the regular backside. 180 flip at the end there. It was pretty sketch. I touched my toes or my heels or something, but I landed. Bend uh, down, touch your toes, and just glide up the center of the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> but I landed both feet on, so, and I didn't fall or jump off right away. So I, I counted it. It's, it's, I know, I know it's not like a full roll away, and, and there is some feet drag, but I'd say that was. Pretty good. That's probably the best I was going to get it today before my body just completely said, Nope, fuck you. I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> yeah, mine shut to bed pretty early on. It's like, all right. Well, I mean, we both kind of skipped a week there and didn't get out and really practice. So it really goes to show that you kind of need to be out there on a, a fairly regular basis. Like, we do okay if we're like every week. But if we don't do it one week, we can definitely feel it when we get back into it the second weekend. So it's uh, definitely good to get out there and skate whenever you can if you really want to progress and keep that muscle memory and momentum going. But yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying these skate vlogs. Hopefully, hopefully this makes up for the lack of one last weekend. And hopefully we can do an actual e-ride in Toronto coming soon in September. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, this is Jesse Slamarella and Super Mike Segment signing off for Stuck Skateboarding. Get out there and keep skateboarding, guys. <laughs>